Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here at the Kuma Fighting Championship standing alongside Niall Smith and Niall 3-0 and as a pro now um, as I said in your last fight your hands are what looked better in that fight in this fight they looked even better this time is, this, is it just focusing on this for now? Uh, no I like to keep my whole game you know, improving at all times I just want to be solid on the ground and standing but he's a stand up fighter so I thought I'd try and sort of match him on the feet and it worked out for me in the end you were tempted to throw the spinning back fist uh, mm -hmm. two or three times that won your last fight and then he was throwing them back at you and one of them actually seemed to catch you pretty flush. Yeah, I was hurt at one stage, he did rock me but uh, I managed to sort of get my focus back and keep coming forward so I was happy enough. I've noticed the improvement in your ground game as well, it seems when it went down there you were fairly comfortable to sit there. He was throwing up a little bit from the guard, it seemed like he wanted to be a bit more active, were you expecting that? No, I didn't expect him to shoot for a takedown at all to be honest, I thought it was going to be a kickboxing match but obviously he's been drilling a bit of ground so came out of nowhere but... I dealt with it and I'm happy enough too. Did you notice in particular he was throwing them after some of your strikes? I think you were throwing a right kick to the body in particular mm -hmm. that was just making sickening sounds and uh, hurting him badly. Yeah, he's a very tough guy. I mean, two of those shots landed one after the other and I, I could have swore he would have went down, but he didn't. He's a very, very tough opponent. Something that I've been saying to the other pros tonight is that with more Irish guys uh, coming back to fight in the Irish circuit or being given fight exemptions, do you think it's going to be harder for you to get matched? Because the budget for Irish shows might only be maybe two or three pro fights on a card. Mm. And if it's the chance to get someone like Tommy McCafferty who's on a cage warriors exemption, is mm. it, are we going to see uh, a gap now between when you fight next? Hopefully not, no. I mean, I'm game to fight as long as I'm not injured. I, I want to fight, so... No, anybody. I have to say, you're, you're acting like it's just nothing. You know, it's just you're coming out... You're casually disposing of these guys on a Saturday evening and out striking them, out wrestling them, and then you're just mad to get back in the piss or something like that. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's the way to do it. You have to enjoy what you do. Two things, and we're going to let you go. When you're very active now, I last saw you fight in December, or late November, early December, now again. Is this going to be the same type of turnaround, a little bit longer to hone on something else, or just no, whatever happens? No, if gets me another fight, I'm good to go again. I want to keep busy. And tell me finally about someone maybe in Ireland. Are you going to fight again in Ireland? Do you want to go abroad? What's the plan? Do you think maybe the abroad fights will happen further down the line? Maybe look for a fight in the UK? Oh, maybe we... further down the line. I don't know. I just need to keep my record good and see what comes up. Just whatever my coach gets me. Well, excellent. I'd have to say one of my most uh, improved fighters to watch. Getting better in every fight. And I suppose at a professional level, that's exactly what you want to be. 3-0. and And uh, anyone you want to thank before we go? All my coaches and everybody I hate to push me on. You know, Can't do it without them. Niall, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.